Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to talk about Kramer's rule. So what is the goal? The goal is to use determinants to solve a linear system. However, not all types of linear system. Very special type. So a linear system which has n equations, okay, n equations and n unknowns, both of them n. When the coefficient matrix is invertible. So it can handle very, very special type of linear systems. Theorem 6.4.1, which is indeed Kramer's rule. Let A be n by n, B an invertible matrix. So this is invertible. A should be invertible. Good. Then the unique solution. So if you remember by a theorem we had before, when a, the coefficient matrix of a linear system, this linear system, is invertible, then there's a unique solution. Then that unique solution, okay, you know, let me, let me write the general form of the linear system with n equations and n unknowns. equals B1, Bn, good. Then you can easily find the solution for X1, X2, X3, and Xn. How? This is the way we find the answer. Then the answer Xi equals the determinant of Aib over the determinant of A. What is Aib? AIB, right here, AIB is the matrix formed by replacing the ith column of A by B. What do you mean exactly? We're here. So you just take the ith column of A and you replace it by this B here. You bring that and put it in the ith column of A. That gives you AIB. Good. That's, and then you calculate the determinant and put it in the numerator. You understand better when I do an example. You, example 6.4.1. Use Kramer's rule to solve the system. Well, if you write this system in matrix product for, you get, I would like to write this one by red. Okay, then let's look at X1. X1 is, okay, you know what? I would like to mention something. Let's see if we're allowed to apply Kramer's rule. Number one, how many equations? Two. Number two, how many unknowns? Two. That's good. And then the most important part is, is A, this is A, is A is in, uh, invertible? Is A invertible? Yes, the answer is yes. How do you know? Let's calculate the determinant of A. One times four minus minus two, six which is not zero, that's why it's invertible. So the answer is yes, I'm allowed to apply Kramer's rule. So let's apply Kramer's rule. The bottom is just determinant of A. What about the numerator? The numerator, because you have here one, good, this one right here, shows that we should replace the first column by B. This is B here, two, one. So two, one goes here, and then two, four here. You just copy this guy right here. Okay, good. So what is the answer? The bottom becomes six, and the top is also two times four, eight minus two, six, so one. Now let's evaluate x2. Again, the, de the denominator is the same. You just calculate the determinant of A. But the numerator, what you do is, because of this 2 here, we the second column should be B, but the rest is the same. So the bottom is just 6, as we had before. 
the numerator is 1 minus minus 2, so 3. 1 root 2. That's it. Good? So this is the Kramer's rule. Okay. That's it for today, and bye.